Extreme Power of M270 MLRS The concept of a self-propelled rocket launcher goes back to 16th century Korean warfare. But in modern times, the World War II era famous Katyusha rocket launcher trucks really launched the incentive. Such was the effect of a sudden, localized rain of high-explosive warheads that the concept was raised next to classic artillery. MLRS or Multiple Launcher Rocket Systems are modern equivalents with much more effective warheads, greater range, and moreover, deadly accuracy. In addition, the use of a fully tracked system ensured true mobility. The M270 is one of the most common NATO standard vehicles of the type today. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at the M270 and see exactly what it is capable of. Before we look at this, quick reminder to give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying it. In the early 1970s, the Soviet Union had a clear advantage over US and NATO forces in terms of rocket artillery. Soviet tactics of bombardment by large numbers of truck-mounted multiple rocket launchers, such as BM-21, would saturate a target area with thousands of rockets. By contrast, US artillerists favored cannon artillery over area fire rockets, and as a result were left with only a small amount of World War II vintage rocket artillery. In March 1974, the US Army wrote a requirement for a new rocket launcher called General Support Rocket System, or GSRS. It would be used to engage enemy defenses and for counter-battery fire, freeing cannon units to provide close support for ground forces. NATO allies, including the United Kingdom, France, and West Germany were consulted on the project, and since they had already been looking to create a similar system independently, their name for it was adopted, changing GSRS to MLRS. The M270 multiple weapons platform was designed by the Vaught Corporation as a replacement for the previous General Support Rocket System of 1974. This COEA program was never fully realized and instead further developed as the M270, which was a joint development of the UK, USA, Germany, France, and Italy. Lockheed Martin Missiles and Fire Control was in charge of the missiles and tracking systems. The rocket system entered service with the U.S. Army in 1983, and about 1,300 were manufactured by several companies until 2003. So far, it's been used in the Persian Gulf War, the war in Afghanistan, the Iraq War, and most recently in the Russian invasion of Ukraine. The multiple launch rocket system is a high-mobility automatic system based on the M270 weapons platform. MLRS fires surface-to-surface -surface rockets and the Army Tactical Missile System. ATA CMS without leaving the cab. The crew of three, driver, gunner, and section chief can fire up to 12 MLRS rockets in fewer than 60 seconds. The multiple launch rocket system launcher unit comprises an M270 launcher loaded with 12 rockets, packaged in two six rocket pods. The launcher, which is mounted on a stretched Bradley chassis, is a highly automated, self-loading and self-aiming system. It contains a fire control computer that integrates the vehicle and rocket launching operations. The rockets can be fired individually or in ripples of 2 to 12. Accuracy is maintained in all firing modes because the computer re-aims the launcher between rounds. The launcher is versatile enough to fire either guided and unguided projectiles, up to 42 kilometers. Ballistic missiles such as the tactical missiles can hit targets up to 300 kilometers away thanks to its propulsion with a warhead reaching 50 kilometers. The average rate of fire is 12 rounds in less than 40 seconds. The basic MLRS tactical warhead contains 644 M77 munitions, which are dispensed above the target in midair. The dual-purpose bomblets are armed during freefall, and a simple drag ribbon orients the bomblets for impact. A single salvo of rockets can cover a square kilometer with submunitions, earning the M270 the nickname Grid Square Removal System. Typical configuration consisted of three M270s firing all 12 rockets at once. Given that each warhead is made up of 644 M77 grenades, the entire salvo represents a steel rain of 23,184 grenades in the targeted area for a total saturation. Other mission-oriented rockets include the extended range rocket, the reduced range practice rocket with a range of 8 kilometers to 15 kilometers and the AT-2, which dispenses 28 anti-tank mines around. The extended range rocket was first fielded in 1998 and carries 518 improved munitions in excess of 45 kilometers. 
The Army Tactical Missile System family includes the Block 1, Block 1A, and Block 1A unitary missiles. Block 1, which was used during Operation Desert Storm, carries 950 baseball-sized M74 submunitions to ranges exceeding 165 kilometers. The Block 1A missile extends the range to more than 300 kilometers by reducing the submunition payload and adding GPS guidance. The Block 1A unitary missile, with a single burst warhead, was first deployed in support of Operation Iraqi Freedom in March 2003. The MLRS computerized fire control system enables a reduced crew or even a single soldier to load and unload the launcher. A portable boom control device and cable hook assembly is used for loading and unloading. The fire control computer allows firing missions to be carried out either manually or automatically. In a typical fire mission, a command post transmits the selected target data directly to the MLRS computer. The computer aims the launcher and prompts the crew to arm and fire a pre-selected number of rounds. Multiple mission sequences can be pre-programmed and stored in the computer. The M270 vehicle sports an armored cab at the front of the hull, with the positional launch pod container fitted over the rear section. As with the M2 Bradley vehicle, the M270 is compact enough to be air transportable in the cargo hold of a Lockheed C-5 Galaxy or Boeing C-17 Globemaster heavy lift transport. The vehicle is driven by a Cummings VTA 903T V8 turbocharged diesel fueled engine of 600 horsepower output. This is mated to a cross-drive turbo electronically controlled transmission system. Operational range reaches 644 kilometers on roads at speeds up to 65 kilometers per hour. The running gear consists of six road wheels to a hull side, with the drive sprocket at front and track idler at the rear. Two track return rollers are featured. The M270 weighs 24.9 tons and measures 6.8 meters in length, 2.97 meters in width, and 2.59 meters in height. Variants of this vehicle include the M270A1, which is the result of a 2005 upgrade program for the U.S. Army, and later on for several other states. The launcher appears identical to the M270, but incorporates the improved fire control system and an improved launcher mechanical system. This allows for significantly faster launch procedures and the firing of guided multiple launch rocket system rockets with GPS-aided guidance. The U.S. Army updated 225 M270s to this standard. The M270B1 is the British Army variant of the M270A1, which includes an enhanced armor package to give the crew better protection against IED attacks. Following an agreement struck with the United States Department of Defense, the British Army will be embarking on a five-year program to update the M270B1 to the M270A2 standard. They are developing some UK-specific systems, including composite rubber tracks and a vehicle camera and radar system. Upgrade of the first tranche of launchers started in March 2022, with the fleet going through production over a four-year period. A new fire control system will be developed collaboratively with the U.S., the U.K., Italy, and Finland. Beyond its service with the U.S. Army, the M270 has been adopted by the forces of Bahrain, Denmark, Egypt, France, Finland, as the 298 RS RAKH. Germany has the Mars, Greece, Israel, Italy, Japan, Netherlands, Norway, South Korea, Saudi Arabia, Turkey, and the United Kingdom. Denmark and Norway have since retired their M270 stock. So far, Great Britain has provided three launchers to the Ukrainian military in an attempt to aid them during the Russian invasion in Ukraine. It has now been confirmed by Defense Secretary Ben Wallace another three will soon be sent, along with a significant number of missiles they launched. According to Mr. Wallace, these high-precision weapons are already helping Ukraine target Russian ammunition supplies and command centers. Wallace said this in Copenhagen where he is participating in an international conference with allies who promised to continue military and financial support for Ukraine. He said Britain was very pleased with Ukraine's use of missile launchers already provided by the West. According to him, the Ukrainian forces have shown that they are much better at distinguishing which targets to hit so that they do not quickly run out of ammunition. Wallace noted that this is part of Ukraine's transition from using old Soviet-era weapons to more modern NATO weapons. With the evolving nature of warfare, it is essential that the extreme power of the M270 multiple launch rocket system and its variants are made available in order to at least put things on an even keel, or even better, improve them. What do you make of the M270? Let us know in the comments and please like the video if you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.